Yo, what's up? This is Nero coming at you with a fresh cooking guide. What? You do cooking content? Not normally, but I did an oatmeal video and some people like that. This is gonna be a slow cooker guide. You see here, this is an instant pot and despite its name, actually you can cook stuff in a way that's very much not instant. This is gonna take like seven to eight hours. So I got the ingredients here and I already peeled the potatoes and the onion and the garlic. So we're just gonna chop these up real quick. I'm gonna put this on a phone stand. Should work. Do you see this here? Is that fine? Okay. If it falls over, too bad. So first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put olive oil here uh, into this, into the pot here, so that stuff doesn't get stuck to the bottom. Now I know a lot of people have had some like problems with slutty olives, extra virgin olives, they haven't been fucking with anybody, okay? So we're just gonna put some extra virgin olive oil here. Some people are like, what's the difference between virgin olive oil and extra virgin? So virgin olive oil, those are olives that have never fucked anybody. Um, extra virgin are olives that have never had a lusty thought toward another olive. So that's a quick tip for you there. And I'm just gonna chop up the potatoes first. I like putting the potatoes on the bottom. I'm gonna swirl around the olive oil on the bottom so it's coating the whole thing. Great. Okay, and that's fine. Now we're gonna chop up some potatoes. Now you have to make sure not to chop your hands. You wanna keep the chopping for the potatoes only. And the more you chop them up, the faster they're going to cook. I put the potatoes at the bottom because they take a pretty long time to cook. A quick tip is whenever you're chopping, you can curl your fingers like this. So even if the knife slips, you're not gonna chop your finger. Okay, so we've got little chunks of potato. We just throw them in there. Just throw them in, who cares? This is not that precise of an operation. Get another potato here. Put it long ways. <clears throat> Curl the fingers, chop it this way. Shout out to my mom for showing me how to chop stuff and helping out in the kitchen. As a kid, you might be like, oh, I have to do chores, bah! But those are life skills that you can use as an adult. When you're by yourself, you can cook for yourself and not die of starvation. And also not need to get crappy fast food and stuff. Okay, so we got more potatoes here. Throw them in. Another round of potatoes. Throw them in. I'm going for a lot of potatoes because I like potatoes. The potato is a comfort food. It's the kind of food that whenever life's beating you down, it's like at least we have potatoes. You can boil them, you can mash them, you can stick them in a stew. Samwise Gamgee, he knows what's up. Smeagol doesn't. All he cares about is fish and the ring. Chopping this one up here. Just to go over the various ingredients we have in this slow cooker meal. Uh, this is just regular ass potatoes. I think they're called russet potatoes. Honestly, I don't care that much. It's a potato. And then I have sweet potatoes. And I have mushrooms cauliflower and carrots. You can also do broccoli. And there's one full onion. And the onion is something that I haven't tried in my slow cooker build order until pretty recently. And it just gives so much heckin' flavor. And the onion is something that you wouldn't really just eat on its own, unless you're crazy. But it really enhances a lot of other things that it's with. So we've got another potato here. This is a lot of potato. And the cool thing about making a slow cooker uh, setup like this is you've got multiple meals of food ahead. You're not just cooking for dinner tonight. This is like cooking lunch and dinner for the next several days. And for anyone who's a lazy gamer, that's like super good. Because then you can just go to the fridge and you've got meal prep and you have amazing feasts ahead of you. Just another potato here, throw it in there. This is a very small potato. 
don't make fun of the potato for its size. It's just a potato. There are tubers. Another potato. And then we have this potato. Last potato. <clears throat> After we put in this potato, we're going to do a round of salt. Because anyone who's had french fries knows salt is really good with fries. And maybe you didn't know this, but fries are made from potatoes. If you're from uh, England or the UK, you might call these chips. But they're actually called fries, and you've been getting it wrong this whole time. So cool, we got the potatoes in. I'm just going to show you here. Look at this amazing potatoes. Now I have some iodized salt here. Helps you get some iodine or some shit in your diet. I don't even know. I'm just gonna put some of this in there. And you'll be like, wow, that's a lot of salt. Who cares? Okay. Now that we have that in there, I want to go for some of the frozen stuff. So this is just frozen cauliflower. Cauliflower, it's got like a crap ton of vitamins or something in it. Uh, open this bag up and then we'll pour it in nice and easy. Look at this. Cool. Got this. Put this in here. Great. That's cool. Put our cauliflower in there. Now that's frozen stuff. That's fine. <clears throat> I'm throw this in the garbage. <clears throat> and we got an onion here. Oh, carrots. Wow, you could use regular ass carrots. They don't need to be uh, frozen ones. <clears throat> carrots are really good. I've heard that they give you like supervision and stuff. That's actually how Superman can see through walls. He just has a bunch of carrots. So put this in here. And then let's do another round. I know this is gonna seem crazy. We're gonna do another round of olive oil. I'm trying to open this with one hand. Okay, I got this here. Look at this. Crazy. Can you believe that? Okay. Smooth extra virgin olive oil. Do another round of salt here. Now this is gonna get pretty crazy. We're gonna get the spice drawer. Paprika, let's go. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, cinnamon sugar. And the thing about this is you want to be very imprecise and kind of just like, screw it. Look at this. Just cinnamon. What? Cinnamon? Who cares? You're free to experiment with your own spices and stuff. Sorry, I'm opening this with one hand. Experiment with your own spices. Maybe you don't like cinnamon. Maybe you don't like paprika. Then don't put it in there. Put whatever you want in there. Are you okay? What's happening? There we go. Just put a lot of spices in here. Because they've got a lot of stuff in this. So let's just spice this up. Look at how spicy these are going to be. Okay, great. So we got spices in this. Um, now let's get some heckin' garlic. Or onion. Actually, let's do the sweet potatoes. Here. Don't fall over, phone stand. It's not very stable there. It's fine. <clears throat> we got the spices. And this way I don't have to cut these up. I can just rip that thing off. Open this up. Boom, put it in. Sweet potatoes. And I don't have room for everything. That's one of the things about this is you're limited to the size of this this here pot. And if you you can't overfill it because then you can't put the lid on. So I just put in like half of these. Use your best judgment for what you want to put in this. Let's put some garlic in this now. I know a lot of people they're like my meal has no flavor. I don't know what I'm doing. And also my village is being accosted by a troop of vampires. You put this in here, and vampires will stay away from your home, and actually for two local city blocks. So if you want flavor, 
and vampire protection garlic is going to be your ticket i've got some garlic here i'm just going to chop this up i peeled these uh, cloves of garlic before recording this video garlic is super good it's one of the best tasty things to really make the flavors pop you can get dried garlic I feel like the dried garlic has flavor that's like an eighth of the intensity of fresh garlic. So if you want to, if you want to really have that ace level vampire protection, I'd recommend fresh garlic. I have seen some vampires who can deal with minced garlic, like they're not happy about it, but they can survive it and they may still jump from rooftops in your neighborhood. But fresh garlic, no way. They will stay very far from that. throw this in here. You could chop these up more finely. I don't really care that much. I'm fine with eating a piece of garlic that's been cooked for seven hours. Just try not to chop your fingers off, okay? Okay, great. And this is a lot of cloves of garlic, so we should get lots of uh, garlicky essence with this. Okay, we garlic, boom, boom, and more garlic. All right, garlic is in. Now let's do this. This is called an onion. A lot of people say that whenever they cut onions, they cry. I've never had that happen before, and I don't really know what that's about. I'm not sure if it's a myth or something, but if I start weeping uncontrollably during this video, you'll know what caused it. And we also proved that myth or legend that onions make you cry. Maybe it's just that people think of like really sad shit that's happened to them whenever they're chopping onions. I'm not sure. Okay, let's just chop this up. Chop it up, chop it up, chop it up, chop it up. Remember the finger curling technique so you don't chop your hands. I'll just throw it in there. Who cares? Who cares? Notice that we're not like measuring stuff with all of this. I think that really helps for people who cook for themselves and they also don't give a shit. I think those two things together, you'll be fine. Maybe it's a little bit over spicy. Maybe it's a little bit under spicy. You can fix that later. <clears throat> I'm gonna chop this up here. And I do have some mushrooms next to me, but I'm not gonna put these in I'll just talk about that step. The mushrooms don't need as long to cook as this other stuff because they're not quite as thick and dense. They're more spongy and soft. So I'll let this stuff cook for about half the time, say about four hours, <clears throat> and then I'll put the mushrooms in. But one whole onion, pretty good. I haven't even started crying yet. Okay, now I'm thinking of sad stuff that's happening. Okay, it's fine. Any people in the comments want to uh, talk about my cutting technique, feel free. One of the best things about being a content creator is having people backseat you. Oh my gosh, the onion just hit my nose. Okay, I think I see what people were talking about. Getting a little bit worked up here. It's okay. <clears throat> They're brighter head, brighter days ahead, fam. Don't cry. You're not crying. I'm not crying. You're crying. No, it's just raining. It's in my house. It's fine. <clears throat> you guys are so great. I love you guys. Thanks for watching my YouTube videos. <sighs> Crap. <clears throat> okay. So, I'll show you what we got here. Heckin' onions. Amazing. Let's just mix this up here. Just grab this. Got this up put this in here okay <clears throat> let's do another round of olive oil where'd you go you better not have been having sex with other olives olive oil <clears throat> okay just a bunch of olive oil because it's good that's a little bit of flavor and 
these are the mushrooms here. I just get the baby Bella, whatever. <clears throat> these. And then I'll kind of break them up in my hands. Just like break them in half or into thirds or whatever so they cook a little bit faster. And they're also more bite sized so you don't have to chop them up <clears throat> uh, once you're eating your meal. And then we get to do the amazing technology step of activating the Instant Pot. Now, fun story about the Instant Pot. I had a viewer, their name is High Speed, H-Y Speed. And they were a big advocate for the Instant Pot. They were like, Neuro, do you know about Instant Pot? And I was like, no. And they were like, it's the best thing ever. And I was like, you're being silly. And they said, I'll give you $100 to get one of these right now. And I said, okay, fine. So I got one, but then when I ordered it, I was like, this shit has got like 50 different buttons on it. I don't know what to do. So I didn't use it for like three months or something. And then I figured out all you need to do is just press the slow cook button. Here, you just push that button. That's all you need. All this other crap here, that's for advanced people. For people who just live by yourself and you just want to like make some food and not die, just the slow cook button. That's all you need. So let's put this together here. I'm gonna put the put this into this. Just sits nicely in here. Boom. <clears throat> all right. Now I have to plug it in to the wall over here. And, okay. Great. Now it beeps at me. It says it's off. Now I need to go get the lid. <coughs> Excuse me. A little bit of convention crud from DreamHack. All right, so this is all good. Uh, you could add more spice to this step if you wanted to. Um, let's actually add some more salt. I'm feeling it. I like salt. Do you like salt? I'm not really the kind of person with a sweet tooth, but I do like myself salty snacks. Look at this. And then whenever it does that happy song, that means that it's locked in. So let's just push this back a little bit here. And then I do this. That's it. It's a one button item. And I know it's overwhelming. You've got like all these buttons. You just hit the one button. So the three beeps means that it's starting. And now it just goes. And now you can go play video games, go outside, do whatever you want to with your life bird pooped on the outside of my window. Fucking birds. But yeah, this is how you make a slow cooker guide. And then you go play video games, you could stream, you could go to work. Honestly, if you sleep for like seven hours, you could do this before you go to bed. And a quick note, these do generate a decent bit of heat. It's not gonna like catch fire or anything, but if you have one of these going and say it's like a really hot summer day, it will increase the temperature of your home by a little bit. The nice thing is it's heck in the winter time, so this uh, warms up the place a little bit, which is pretty cool. So I hope you found this guide useful. This is just my guide for a slow cooker build. It's pretty easy stuff to use. Uh, you can find these on the internet and purchase them. And then you just chop up stuff and put it in there. You don't have to use the same ingredients I used, but uh, yeah, hopefully this made this all look more achievable and possible. Thanks for watching the YouTube videos. I appreciate everyone for tuning in and stuff. Take care and uh, be careful with your chopping technique. Don't chop yourself.